Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel study with Mumta. So today I'm going to teach you how to create a game called hide and seek. So without wasting time, let's just dive into the project. So here we have this platform. So you already know how to take the sprite. So today I'm going to take the sprite named Gobo. So we'll just type here Gobo. Uh, yes, this is a cutie sprite here. So let's just take it. And uh, let's change the backdrop. So for the backdrop, you can take any backdrop according to your choice. I'm just going to take this moon one. So yes, we have our Gobo and we have this moon. So what is the, practically we do so, but here in this game, what we are supposed to do is like the gobo is going to show and hide show and hide so you have to find the gobo and to find the gobo to make that thing happen you just need to click on it so when you click on the gobo you're going to score the point the way when you find the person who is hiding somewhere so then that person becomes a den and then that person finds another person so in the same way you will be clicking on the gobo and you will be getting points so let's just start making this game which is very easy and quick to make so we have our sprite gobo if you want to reduce the size you can just make it 80 and here we go so let's just start with our events only so when green flag is clicked we want the gobo to be in the center position like gobo is there in the center so let's go to motion and let's fix the coordinates to be in the center. To make the coordinates to be in center, you can fix from here or from here. You can just make it zero, zero. So when you are going to press the green flag, the gobo is going to be in the center. So this is the center position for the gobo. So initially you want the gobo to be there on the screen. So what you can do is you can choose the option show. Okay, let's do it later. But how will you know the instructions of the game? Like what you are supposed to do? So whenever we play a game, we give some sort of instructions. So to identify this game, if the user is playing it, so what this user is supposed to do, you have to inform it. So we are just going to, you know, give an instruction and we'll just go to looks and we'll take the say block. Say hello for two seconds. And instead of saying hello, we'll write a text say, Click me to score points. Click me to score points. So Gobo is telling the user that you have to click on Gobo to get points. So when you are going to press the free in plan, the Gobo is gonna say, click me to score points. So you can just give another text of your choice. Now, let's just go to, we talked about points. That means we need to also have a variable which is going to score our which is going to store our points or score. So let's just make a variable name score there. And in the beginning of the game, the score should be zero. So let's just set the variable and change it to score and make it to zero. So whenever the green flag is clicked, it is going to be score to zero. Yeah. Now, what is the next thing? So Gobo has to hide so that someone can find it. So let's just go to control, take this forever block, why we are taking forever so that this activity can keep on happening all the time. So after that, just go to looks, take hide. So Gobo will be hidden forever. After two minutes, the Gobo will be hidden. Now you don't want this thing to happen, right? You want the Gobo to show up also. So we'll do it, but we will do it by making the Gobo to go somewhere else because because when you know where is the gobo, then you are obviously going to find the gobo. So when the gobo is hidden from this center place, it should go somewhere else, right? So what will happen is after hiding, the gobo is going to wait for one second. And after that, the gobo will switch the position. Okay, so let the gobo wait for one second. And after that, to make it go somewhere else, we will give a motion block. So we will go to motion and to change the position of this sprite, we will take this go to X. Now, if we again give certain numbers, like just say 180 or 150 in X coordinate or another number in Y coordinate, then also again, the position is gonna be fixed. So that means we have to give random positions. We have to give random coordinates so that Google can take any position at any time. So let's just go to operator and choose pick random and put it in x coordinate and another pick random in y coordinate 
Now, what should be the value given here? So you know that this y plane is between the numbers 180 and minus 180, and this x plane is between minus 240 to 240. So you can also give the same range, or you can just reduce to minus 200 to 200. And for the y position, you can make it minus 140 to 140. It's your choice. You can give the exact numbers as decided by the planes or the numbers by your choice. So let's just see what is happening. Did you notice the gobo is not here? That means whenever you are hiding a sprite, you have to make it come back. And for that, you need to show the sprite. So whenever the green flag is clicked, the sprite will be here on the stage. So press the green flag, the gobo is there, click me to score points. Now after hiding, the gobo is waiting for one second. It is taking random position on X and Y coordinate, but then what? It is not showing up. That means you have to show it again here. Okay. Now you can observe the gobo is coming, but it is going very quickly. And the and the time it is, you know, there on the screen is for very less time. Then here we have to make the gobo stay for some seconds so that at least we can click on it. So let's just go to control. Take, wait one second, keep it below, show. So yeah, now Gobo is there for one second. So you can easily click on the Gobo. Okay, so this is the first part of the game in which you are creating a sprite and making it happen what it should do on the stage. Now, what is the second part of the game? In the second part of the game that you are clicking on the sprite, so you should get a point. You should score a point. So for that thing, you can take another event. Just go to events and choose when this is sprite clicked. So when this is sprite clicked, what should happen? The score should change. So you can just take this variable, change my variable, change it to score, change my score by one. So let's press this flag. So whenever you are clicking on the sprite, the scores are increasing by one. So if you miss it, you will not get a point. You can also do other thing also, you can add a sound. You can just go to sound and you can add a sound of win the game or something, any sound you like. Let's just say if there is win sound or not. Yes, it is there. So I'm just going to add this sound here and start sound win so that. So whenever I'm going to click on it, I will get a point and it is going to play a sound. So I think right now I'm not able to click on my sprite. I'm very bad at this. Yeah, I got two points. So this is how you can create a very amazing game called Hind and Seek. So I hope this video is helpful for you all. And yes, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Okay, bye guys. See you in another video. Take care.